Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, today is just going to be a quick one. I just wanted to do a quick demonstration um, showing engraving and cutting on some 3mm MDF uh, as opposed to doing the same uh, engrave and cut on the 3mm MDF with some masking tape over the top to stop that scorched look. Um, so I'm just going to run a file here. Um, I'm going to cut the first one just uh, basically here on the, uh, on the raw MDF. Uh, this is what I'm going to be cutting. So it's going to engrave the red and then cut out on the black line. So 150 millimetres a second for the speed and 35% power. And then 14 millimetres a second for, for the cut with 40% power. Um, so yeah, basically just wanted to do that quick one. So I'm just going to turn on the exhaust fan. Uh, turn on the air. We'll get that set up. Start that. So usually whenever I'm doing any sort of engraving, I uh, use the masking tape and uh, it just gives such a such a, a better clean look uh, at the end, like a better end result. Um, for cutting wise, ever since I've gotten the air assist hooked up now, um, cutting my, my cuts are really nice and clean. There's no need to put any masking tape on when I'm cutting, um, but I definitely still use it when I'm doing an engrave. Um, and for the reasons that I'll show at the end of the video here. So I just wanted to make a quick video just to show a comparison between the two um, And just basically show that so Yeah, I'll let this one run out and then I'll cut the exact same thing up on the masking tape up there And then I'll pull them both out and we'll have a look at the difference First one dusted, and I'm just going to bring it up onto here. Uh, set a new origin, quick frame, and I'm going to run the same exact file again. Uh, obviously, this time on the masking tape. So again, it's engraving at uh, 150 millimeters per second uh, with 35% power, and the cutout is 14 millimeters a second of 40% power. Now these are probably a little bit higher than they needed to be, um, but that's just what I already had them set up at, so I had to save them up around. I'm just going to rerun them again at this. Uh, this is an 80 watt laser, so, uh, you know, cutting through 3 mil with 40% power, it basically just eats through it. So um, I could definitely turn those powers down a little bit, but as I said, for the purpose of the video, it's probably good anyway to have a little extra burning um, so you can really see the difference. That's our second one done. I'll just move this out of the way and turn off this exhaust. Alright. Just gonna go up here for a sec. So. Alright, so I'll just give you a quick look. So obviously the bottom one without the masking tape and the top one with the masking tape. And then I'll peel off that masking tape off of this one. Just a matter of peeling that off. And there you have it.
And there's the difference, people. So the bottom one without masking tape, top one with masking tape, same speed, same powers, everything exactly the same. And there's the difference. So definitely worth it if you want to get that nice clean engrave. Uh, definitely consider popping on some masking tape. This is an actual uh, too sticky of a masking tape. It's actually um, the stuff that they use to cover like decals with. So it's like a transfer tape. Um, but you know, it's also the same as a masking tape. It's just a low tack masking tape. So, um, but yeah, it works perfectly for what for what I use it for. So again, yeah, that's the difference, guys. So definitely, if you're looking for those clean engrave in, engraves, then um, this is uh, definitely the way to go. Anyway, guys, if you found the video helpful, give it a like. And as always, consider subscribing to the channel for any future videos that I post up. And thanks again for watching.